mathtutor.biz looking at exam papers and we're on core 3 and with set 1 and this is the third paper core 3 practice paper number 3 question number 1 Differentiate the following with respect to x. Now this is actually part C. Question 1, part C. Um, let's do this with the quotient rule. If we look at the top B, U and the bottom V, so we'll write that down, shall we? Let U equals the top part. And let V equals the bottom part. So we need to differentiate both of these with respect to x, so you get that du dx equals sine differentiate this cosine, so we get cosine of 4x cubed, but that needs to be multiplied by whatever's inside the brackets differentiated. In other words we need to differentiate this 4x cubed. 3 4 to 12 and drop that down to become a 2. Let's differentiate this with respect to x, so we get dv dx equals, and that will just be differentiating that, we'll just get 4. We could tie that by putting it at the front, we'll do that in a minute I think. Now let's write down the quotient rule, dy dx, making the v's look very much like V's and the U's looking very much like U's so we don't confuse them. Minus nice curly looking U and a straight looking V. Okay, now let's substitute the information into there. V multiplied by du dx which is this. I'll put that at the front. 12x squared multiplied by the cosine of 4x cubed minus u, which is that bit there, sine 4x cubed. Thinking ahead, I left a space there because I've got to do multiply by dv dx and dv dx is 4, so rather than the 4 at the end. I'll put it at the front, it just looks mathematically neater. Over v squared, so that's 4x all squared. Now how can we tidy this up? Well, we could actually not do a lot with this at all, can we? That's 48x cubed cosine 4x cubed minus 4 sine 4x cubed over, or we could write that as 16 I suppose, 4x all squared is 16x squared. We could factorise the 4 out of there and 4 out of there and cancel the 4 at the bottom there, make it a little bit simplified, but I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference, it's not a big simplification, so we'll stop there. Let's see how many marks we've got for that. Well, we'll give a mark for four marks. A mark for that, a mark for that, a mark for tidying that up a bit, and a mark for overall getting it right, yes? Three method marks and an accuracy mark. However, with a lot of mathematics you can do questions different ways. It doesn't matter which way you do it for the examiner, as long as your way is clear, he can follow your working out, and of course it's right. So let's look at this again, let's look at this a different way. So let's repeat question 1 part C, because when you revise, when you work through past papers, the whole idea of working through past papers is to revise. <laughs>